नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम टू हिंदी यूनिवर्सिटी रियली एक्साइटेड टू हैव ऑल ऑफ यू दिस संडे एज यू नो माई नेम इज आशुतोष एंड वी मीट एवरी संडे एट ए एम यू एस स्पेसिफिक टाइम विच इज टाइम ऑन दी वेस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ द यू एस टू लर्न अबाउट द हिंदी लैंग्वेज फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु आर न्यू टू हिंदी यूनिवर्सिटी यू कैन लर्न मोर अबाउट एस बाई गोइंग टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल विच इज यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम स्लैश हिंदी यूनिवर्सिटी वन वर्ल्ड टू लर्न अबाउट all the classes that we have done um, you know in the past uh, and if those of you are interested in joining the live sessions so that we have every sunday you can get all the details on this page which is tiny.cc/hindiuniversity and uh, it's very important page i really want you to to bookmark it um, we continue to make you know changes and updates on this page so Uh, if you want to join the the live class you can get the zoom link here if you want to join the practice sessions now we have like over 6 plus or 6 plus like you know um uh, practice sessions at different time zones so you can get the information about the practice sessions here uh, similarly um links to the book that we've been following and if you missed any of the previous classes you can get all the resources here okay so with that being said uh, you know the the goal for this year as you know is pretty clear Uh, we've divided the class into pretty much we are trying to have a blended curriculum and bringing everyone together um in the beginning of the class i covered it for complete beginners and in the second half of the class is uh, intermediate you know plus and uh, so those are the the two tracks that we've been following and the way it's working is like for the beginners we are covering two books uh, first one is the elementary hindi by professor Richard Delacy is the professor at the Hindi professor at the Harvard University, and uh, the other book we have been following is the Pingu Learns Hindi. Okay, and um, for the intermediate plus, the goal is to have a blended curriculum. Okay, so we have a following blended curriculum which includes a book from um, Professor Rupert Snell, Kavita Kumar, um, as well as Usha Jain. and some of it is my own um, you know content as well which often i do right so with that being said as you know um last week last week we had off but week before we were on um you know chapter number 10 from rupert delacy's uh, book and our goal for this class is also to continue to 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 make progress on chapter number 10 of uh, richard delacy okay and uh, and that's nothing but you know uh, richard delacy in this chapter covers other than other topic like you know habitual past tense okay so my goal for this class is like at least for the beginners you should be able to make simple sentences using the habitual past tense and for the intermediate plus and advance my goal for you would be to you make advance sentences for habitual past tense and to be able to read a para paragraph okay so we'll be going over a paragraph and for those of you who are familiar with devnagari script you will read the paragraph and you will have a dialogue you will recognize the habitual past tense scenarios there and then for advance basically your goal would be to make a similar paragraph like that okay so that way it's like not necessarily just the brush up of the concept but also you will take it further okay so with that being said let's get started uh, as always any time you have questions you know feel free to to ask you can unmute yourself and then ask the question so habitual past tense okay habitual past tense as the the name implies these are the sentences that you you know that you use or that you you know in your conversation when you're talking about you know actions that took place in the past okay when you want to you describe actions that took place in the past most importantly as a habit because generally speaking when you are talking about just action that took place in the past you would go with the the simple past tense but the difference is like here that they have to be certain kind of a habit for example 
you know going to school in a particular manner talking about hobbies right performing them on a routine basis at a particular cadence okay those are all basically examples of habitual past tense what are some of the more examples you can say i used to i used to go to work daily if you notice it you know it's different than doing the work once which is i went to work okay if you notice the difference here you are simply describing that you went to work or i did work okay here you can say that you know the person is talking about i used to go to work daily that happened more than once okay and there is a frequency behind it and in those cases you would use the habitual past tense okay i looked up what are the main categories that you would use where you would use the uh, the habitual past tense and before i go into the, the hindi part of it let me just write down the six most commonly used categories where you would use the habitual past tense okay and as i mentioned when you're talking about your daily routine daily routines from the past if you're talking about it you would use the habitual past tense when you're talking about your childhood memories okay so if i were to ask any of you to write you know your routine when you were a kid or write down some good memories uh, you know in the past you would use the habitual past tense okay uh, you're talking about your hobbies and pastimes your hobby then past time similarly if you're talking about your work or school activities so work slash school activities okay and then there are a couple of more um which is basically your social activities um social activities if there is a family tradition that you used to celebrate family traditions so if you ask me like growing up in india i i celebrated diwali in a particular manner right if there is a if there is an essay that i need to write about diwali or how i celebrated diwali i would end up using the the habitual past tense okay last but not least uh, basically your um, personal habits and sporting activities so i'm going to just put that as well personal habits okay personal habit i write down all these categories because eventually i'm going to be asking you to write a short paragraph using the habitual past tense and then you will be like okay what do i write about okay so this should help you think about the scenarios that you can you can describe using the the habitual past tense okay this is a pretty simple actually if you talk, uh, if you ask me after the uh, i'm going to erase it okay after the present indefinite tense in hindi this is the simplest one okay very few rules you don't have to worry too much about it right um as you can tell just like you know in hindi when we talk about we learn the pattern i am you know you say main hu okay all you are doing is like you know uh, before we get into it you need to learn about i was okay how would you say that sharan ji i was think about it as a case zero first i was me me thi okay for for a girl it's me thi for a guy it would be me ta very good so you would say me tha or me thi okay so far we are not using any verb so far we are doing case zero which is like before you even begin building the sentence like certain way you, for example if you were to say i eat you would say mm, you need to know the blank pattern which is main hu and in between you will say main khata hu right so you take the word khana and you remove the na and you put ta here okay if you were to say i used to eat 
let's say pizza on Sundays, you need to be able to still have the base pattern. For habitual past tense, it would be metha or methi for if you were talking about I as a subject. Okay, so just remember that like it would be metha or I was. Okay, um, I'm going to write down these all these patterns first and then after that we'll try to make simple sentences. Similarly, if the pronoun is you and you were say you were that would be Jackie G. What would you say? You is up. I'm up. Te. Very good. Up te. For a masculine, so I'm gonna write masculine here and feminine here. Or um, yeah, yeah, up t. Very good. T with a nasalized sound. Okay, up slight nasalized sound. Up t. Okay, up t. Okay, so. No work so far, just the base patterns. Okay, then let's say he was. Who would go with that? Um, let's say Akhilji. He was would be. Vota. Okay, so colloquially, it's you know it's, it's vaha, but colloquially you can tell it's wo. So you would say vota. Similarly, Akhilji, you only for she it would be. Very good. Voti. Okay, so we did I, you, and then we did he and she, and then now let's do V. Who should hopefully should be simple. We were. Who would do that? Uni? How would you say that? Ham. Te. Ham te. Or T. Okay, hum thi. Very good. So this is also for a girl. It would be hum thi with a nasalized sound. Thi. Okay, hum thi. Okay. Um, which one we have not done? Let's say they. Why don't you finish it as well, Uni? They were would be. We. Te. Thi. Same way, the and way, the with an easy life song. Okay, it'll make more sense when we have the work, but right now, you know, there are certain things you just have to sort of memorize it. Okay, um, similarly, you can do yeha, which is basically this and vah, that as well. Yeha, vah. Okay, any questions so far on, on this? Just a very basic table before we jump to case one this is still case zero which is how do you sort of form the the skeleton of a sentence when you're talking about the past indefinite anyone don't be shy okay no one here. so i'm gonna remove this and let's practice with a verb Let's practice with the verb. So let's say I'll take a simple verb. You want to say I used to eat. You were talking about your eating habits. Okay. And it could be anything. It could be simple like, like you know, I used to eat pizza daily or I used to eat out, you know, on, on weekends or it could be like I never used to eat on time. Right. Again, we're talking about habitual past tense. So the verb here is now we have is to eat. And to eat is Jackie G. To eat is? Khana. Khana, very good, right? So you have Khana. Khana is a verb. Khana is also sort of a noun. Like food is also known as, uh, you know, Khana, okay? So let's see, Aneska Ji, how are you doing? So, and sorry, I'm, I was not, uh, yeah. Okay, awesome, I can hear you now. So, when we want to make the habitual past tense, we, you know, what we do is we conjugate the verb appropriately, okay? And we take the imperfective uh, participle form. So, khana for me, how would you say, uh, Aneska ji, you will remove the na. Me kati ti. Good, right so for a guy it would be khata khata for, and for a girl ha. 
or uh, yeah, thirty. So you would say and ten, ten. Very good. So me khata tha. Oh, sorry. So in this one, I'm just simply saying khata hu or I am or I eat. Okay. So I'm going to write here. Me khata tha for a guy and me khati thi for a girl. Okay. You could say me khana khata tha or me pizza khata tha or me pizza khati thi. I used to eat pizzas. Okay. और मैं संडे को और वीकेंड को पिज्जा खाता था और मैं वीकेंड को पिज्जा खाती थी ओके लेट्स कीप गोइंग यू यूज टू ईट पिज्जा हाउ वुड वी कॉल इट आप आप पिज्जा खाते थे सो व्हाट यू वुड डू यू रिमूव द ना एंड दिस इज मैस्कुलिन सिंगुलर this is feminine singular and this is for basically you would say te for masculine plural okay so aap pizza khate the aur aap pizza khati thi okay so aap khate the generally speaking if you are giving respect you can use this for both of them okay there is no problem but if you want to be explicit then you can say um, aap pizza khati thi versus like this so aap khate the okay similarly this one akhil ji because you did this one before he used to eat or he she used to eat it would be um vah khata tha ya wo khata tha aur vah khati thi very good right so ta and ti wo khata tha wo khati thi and then hopefully it should be simple um let's see Barbara ji, how are you doing? You want to do these two? We used to eat, and they used to eat. Uh, am, mm -hmm. uh, kate, kate ta. Am kate te. Very good. Okay. And for a female, it would be ham. Ham khate thi. Ham, you can say that ham khate ham khati thi. Khati thi. See. Okay. Yeah. Next Kati. one. We'll do this one also. They. Mm. They. Eh, khate khate the. Eh, or eh, they khati thi. Very good, right? They khate the or we khati thi. We'll do more examples if it is still. Some of you are still like, "What is going on?" It doesn't make sense. Don't worry. We'll do a lot more examples. Okay. Um, so I'm going to erase it. I'm going to take a um, slightly different one. Okay. Uh, so let's say I, you know, I make slightly challenging sentence, and it becomes. Uh, like um, okay, okay. They used to. So the long sentence. They used to take. Okay. They used to. They used to. They used to take. Okay. They used to take long walks. They used to take long walks in the neighborhood. They used to take long walks in the neighborhood every every evening. It's a pretty long sentence, but I do want you to break it down. Okay, I do want you to recognize that there is a habitual past tense here. um don't get intimidated because it's long sentence you can still do it okay so take a take a stab at it how would you write this thing or say this thing in hindi and then together we will solve it as a group as well okay they used to take long walks in the neighborhood and if certain word you don't know it in hindi you can just use the english word that's okay
you know they okay you know used to you know every evening okay let's see how everyone is doing and same thing for folks who are watching um, live on Facebook as well okay great work there okay see it's interesting like everybody's trying their different way that's the beauty about it right so it's okay to um, okay okay awesome i want everyone to try it out i see good number of you participated already okay let's see okay risha ji how are you doing hopefully you can hear me risha ji ah yeah yeah risha ji how um, are you hi ashish i'm good i'm good i'm just logged in let's start with verb how the different ways to say that okay how would you say to take long walks a lambe okay chalna okay so yes you know either you can say chalte the you can use you can use chalna okay some people have used this word lambe walk karna which is totally fine even though you are using english that's totally okay okay some of you have said sair karna okay so you can conjugate lambi walk karna you can use chalna you can conjugate this or you can conjugate sair karna anybody else use a different way of describing to take long walks pedal chalna okay pedal chalna pedal chalna anybody else well using using walk as a noun uh -huh. so what were you using jdg walk karna or something else yes what well, um, not walk karna just walk lena walk lena okay okay Late. so okay so you are using walk lena basically walk lena and you are conjugating lena is that what you were doing yeah late late okay awesome so I'm just right now we'll come to the sentence okay but right now I just wanted to see how most of you came up with different ways some of you said lambi walk karna some lambi walk lena uh, chalna sayar karna or pedal chalna okay I'm gonna go back Ashuji. to you yeah uh, also tahalna okay tahalna okay that is tahalna so you have a tahalna so you can use you can conjugate tahalna also tahalna is to take a stroll right tehelna to hum tehelte the okay awesome this will be back to you and then after that i'll take questions because i'm sure some of you may have questions so come back to it how would you say the sentence they oh, finish to... the sentence yes uh we mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so let's... Let me... let's do this yes let's do this part first they used to take long walks. We um lambe karate. Okay. Lambe. Okay. We lambe se karate. Okay. We lambe se karate. Okay. Awesome. We lambi say karte the. Okay. Um, we use lambi because why did we use lambi here? Oh, uh, feminine. Yes, that's right. What? Which part is feminine? Okay. 
हर शाम को लंबी सैर करते थे ओके यू कैन से दैट इन हिंदी एज यू नो इट्स एजिलिटी यू कैन पुट दिस आल्सो यू नो आफ्टर वे ओके इधर वे इज फाइन सो यू कैन से वे हर शाम वे हर शाम नेबरहुड में लंबी सैर करते थे और यू कैन से द अदर वे अराउंड एज वेल ओके वे नेबरहुड में हर शाम लंबी सैर करते थे ओके ऑसम ओके सिमिलरली यू नो वे हर शाम नेबरहुड में टहलते थे ओके विच इज वॉट शेयर यू नो यू नो सूजन जी मैंशन टहलते थे ओके और यू कैन से वे हर शाम नेबरहुड में वॉक करते थे ओके जे डी जी आर नॉट यूज हर वॉक लेना दैट मच बट आई मीन इट्स पॉसिबल दैट इन इन कोलो के लिए इट मे स्टिल बी यूज वॉक लेते थे ओके um and similarly some of you use some other ways of describing it as well chalte the that's totally okay so now i take questions any any questions so okay. ashish ji can i ask a question please yeah please um uh, i learned that you know sham usually takes ko is there a, like how you use it without ko here is there like times like this when you can use it without ko sham ko mm -hmm. so you're saying what what is the question here like do when you you have heard sham with ko yeah sham like evening sham raat ko mm -hmm. uh dopahar ko so is the question why are we not using ko yeah here? is it is it is there what i'm saying is are there times when you don't use it it is implied in 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 this case Right. Oh, so okay. Even though you are not saying it, it's like you know, her sham ko. It's implied that it is you know there is a ko. Oh, okay. Yeah. I understand now. Just like um morning, that's where right. Where the may is implied, yeah. That's right. right. Okay. Heard, All right. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Ashuji, um, yes. would that make the ve an un or not? Which one? The no. fact that sham ko. So the even if you were to change it, it's going to be the what is following after that, not like what is coming before. Ah, that. okay, okay. So you know, if you were to say this thing, you know, they, if you were to use this thing in a different way, which is basically they walked in the neighborhood, then unhone because there's a ne in change into. ने कम आफ्टर द सो इट्स बेसिकली वे दैट उन्होंने लंबी वॉक ली एंड दैट्स बेसिकली व्हाट प्रॉब्लम इज बॉस इन जेडीजी लाइक यू नो लाइक व्हाई यू नो दैट्स दैट यू नो आई कैन आई कैन सी व्हाई जेडीजी देन यूज द वॉक लेना उन्होंने लंबी वॉक ली या और इज इट दैट यू नॉट एक्चुअली टेकन द वॉक एनीवेयर सो दैट्स व्हाई यू वुडंट यूज लेना यू एक्चुअली Taking the walk is that you're you're performing a function, so that's why you use karna. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else? Good question, though. Very interesting one. Ashwini. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, two things. So, if you use charm ko, is that wrong? Which one? If, if, you, if were... you put charm ko, is that wrong? In that. No, sense? it's not wrong. It's not wrong if you were to use charm ko. It's not wrong. And the word um, "lumbi sare karte," um, I haven't seen "sare" before. How how do you spell it in Devanagari, please? Oh so, yeah, you can say it. so. You have a "sir" with two. It's like the "sare karna." Sare karna. Thank you. Yeah. Ashuji, my yes. question is. Yeah, please. Uh, so in English. um we say long walks uh -huh. but 
here it seems like said is uh, if you're saying lumbi, it's uh, is it implied that it, you're not saying lumbi said, se so it's no. uh, singular yeah. in Hindi. Yeah. So in many cases in Hindi, Hindi singular and plural are the same. It's just the, the context in which it is said, you will you will infer whether you're talking about just one walk versus many. Right? Like saying every evening. So That's it's, right. implied, it's implied that it's, yeah. Yes. Like, so in Hindi, there is no separate word for like long walk versus long walks. It's just like how, you know, uh, it is said. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, let's do some simple stuff. Okay, and because and because it's it's good that we tried all sorts of sentences. This is a little bit longer one, so you know, it took us slightly longer, but I'm gonna make it easier. And uh, I'm gonna take some from Pingulans in the right, our own book, <laughs> to to make it easy for everyone. Okay, so now uh, it would be. Vaha gar, so this one is Vaha gar saaf, okay, Vaha gar saaf, and then, uh, or I can make it easy, Vaha Vaha, and then you would say, Har weekend, Vaha har weekend, everybody should try that, Vaha har weekend gar saaf, you have to conjugate the verb karna here. Okay, vaha har weekend gar saaf, and then you have to finish the sentence. And um, the idea is to say that you know he or she used to um, clean the house every weekend. Okay, and then they. Okay, I'm gonna write it in this one. I'm gonna write it in English. They used to practice they used to practice hindi they used to practice hindi every sunday okay they used to practice hindi every sunday so that's a small in class exercise try both of them the first one where her we can gar saaf and then finish it up and this one you can translate it into hindi I'm going to give everyone some time there. Himaniji, how are you doing? You comfortable taking the first one, Himaniji? I'll help you out. No problem if you cannot. Uh, Hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Awesome. Ah, oh, good. It was my headphones that didn't work. No problem. Um, okay. How would you say weekend in Hindi? Um, what do you guys think? Anybody would, would like to help? How would you say weekend? Sub, Subtahan. So it's a it's a long word, but it's a so week is Subtaha. Subtaha. And then what you're doing in English also, you're putting end next to it. Okay. In Hindi, end is ant. Don't read it as and, it's ant. Okay. So when you have saptaha plus ant, become saptahant. Okay. But Hindi speakers, you won't really see them using saptahant on a day to day basis. In fact, it might confuse them. And they'll be like, what is going on? Okay, so you're better off using just, you know, weekend is fine. They, they, it's pretty much accepted. Okay, uh, but you should know sapta. Sapta is pretty common. Sapta, okay. you will hear it, you know, so no problem. Okay. I'm asking because my family is uh, not speaking English at all. So I'm not <laughs> sure they would understand weekend. <laughs> uh, so in that case, you, you would say, Vehar Shaniva. Ravivar. Ah. What is you what you're doing is her so every Saturday Sunday we'll do this thing, which is like a very common way of any native speakers, you know, using uh you know ah. um, 
you see that so, so if you say yeah that's what they will understand where shani war rahi war which is like you know growing up there was there was a concept of weekend but it was not like two days like saturday you would still do something in school right so it became only sunday which was like the day off um i understand right so either you can say this use a pair okay uh, and that would sort of work yeah. out yeah so vah har shanivar ravivar ghar saaf karte the beautiful ve har shanivar ravivar ghar saaf karte the ah uh, so vah singular he or she not plural so then it would be vah har shanivar ravivar ghar saaf karta tha aur karti thi beautiful right वे हर रविवार हिंदी अभ्यास करते थे सो यू से वे हर रविवार वे हर रविवार हिंदी सो हिंदी प्रैक्टिस बिकम हिंदी का अभ्यास सो हिंदी का अभ्यास एंड देन यू वुड से करते थे इज इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज का अभ्यास बिकम्स का इज लाइक अभ्यास इज मैस्कुल एंड प्रैक्टिस इज फेमिन सो ये उसे हिंदी की प्रैक्टिस और हिंदी प्रैक्टिस करते थे और हिंदी का अभ्यास करते थे वे हर रविवार हिंदी प्रैक्टिस करते थे ऑसम एनी क्वेश्चन सो फॉर एनी no one no questions okay so um, uh, yeah um the hindi ka atyas uh-huh. it so is atyas did you say atyas was masculine that's right so how do you how do you know that what is masculine uh no that's that's a whole different thing but how do i know if if there's two words that one's masculine one's feminine how do i know which ki ka k to choose one more time so how would you know why i use ka here yeah okay so multiple ways to approach it like if you were to not use it as all hindi abhyas karte the it's implied that it's like you know hindi practice basically just like you have it in in english okay i use hindi ka abhyas like but it's a practice of hindi like so remember like when there is a notion of of in english the equivalent of that is ka k or ki in hindi okay now why is abhyas um masculine versus why is sadhana which is another way of practicing music you know ki sadhana is feminine that's a little bit of a challenging question like it's just basically native speakers they end up using abhyas as like you know uh, as, as masculine sort of a you know there right what's a sadhana sadhana is like if you were to use sadhana that's like a sadhana of a music right sadhana that's considered feminine so if you were to say uh, same thing for a music you will say uh, something ki sadhana karti thi right still thinking jackie ji <laughs> Ashuji, please, can you just repeat the um what you said about the of being implied? Okay, so it's something um um how do I say it? Like something of. So in English, I'm for, I'm missing the, the the example here, but like this is nothing but like practice of Hindi. Practice of Hindi. So this part, it's. nothing but ka ke aur ki that's why it is hindi ka abhyas okay okay hindi ka abhyas. oh all right yes yes you see that typically we use ka ke ki when you have like for example ron's daughter remember that example i give all the time ron's daughter right so you have a yes. ron and daughter ladki so you would say ron ki ladki okay? okay like the daughter of ron oh okay all right 
Yes, I understand now. Thank you. So, sorry, just so if so, when it's written practice of Hindi, mm -hmm. I think I understand that it would be ka, mm -hmm. but if it was Hindi's practice, mm -hmm. I, I still don't understand why it isn't Hindi ki atyas. Because why is it not Hindi ki abhyas? Because abhyas is masculine. So just like, you know, you have Ron's daughter, you would say Ron ki ladki or Ron ki daughter oh. because daughter is feminine. Mm, yeah. You say Ron ka ladka. Ladka is masculine. That's why you're saying Ron ka ladka. You're not saying Ron ki ladka. Right. The question is why I use ka instead of a ki. Yeah. Because in my mind, you know, growing up, I just put that into a bucket that Abhyas, when I learned it orally, it's basically, it's considered masculine. And it's a very tricky to topic though. Like there are certain rules that can tell you about what is masculine, what is feminine, but rest of it is, you know, basically <laughs> just have to catch, you know, as you go along. Uh, and that's the same thing. Whoever is covering it for you, like they will have a hard time explaining uh, anyone if they can explain it for you for some things it'll be hard for them to like okay i don't know why is this right yeah like i can give you certain rules which we have done like generally all the yeah. rivers, most of the rivers are considered feminine whether it is ganges or you know yamuna and yeah generally mountains are considered masculine right but there are and similarly like body parts you can tell that certain body parts you know are, are masculine certain are feminine right but like it's pulled together you know a different thing <laughs> right now, okay. Okay? So, but good good job here right where her, her weekend or her where her shani or rival ghar saaf karta tha thi or where um, you know they used to practice hindi every sunday where her where we were hindi abhyas karte the any questions anyone before we move on to the next one i know we have a little bit of time so what i wanted is i wanted especially to to kind of stimulate all the intermediate plus i wanted to read a paragraph okay and i know a good number of you can read uh, devanagari so for beginners don't get intimidated i want you to if it is hard for you to read devanagari if you don't know just Close your eyes and try to listen to the pronunciation and try to at least see the how the sentences are ending. That's my, you know, uh, sort of quick summary to you. But who would like to read it? I know a good number of you can read Devanagari. Delia Ji, you know Devanagari, right? Right? Awesome. Who else? I want one more person and we will change it. We'll have multiple people. Donna Ji, you can read Devanagari as well, right? I can read too as well if you need. Okay, awesome. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen. Um, and there are two characters here in this paragraph, Deepak and Kavita. Okay, Delia ji, you are Deepak for this particular case. And Donna ji, you are Kavita. Okay, you have to, um, Einstein ji, I'm going to come to your question. So every Sunday classes, okay. So hopefully you can read it. I'm going to make it bigger. So I'm going to make it slightly bigger. So it's easy to read is it better now for both of you is it possible to make it a bit bigger mm -hmm. okay yes, i can totally do that now better uh. how about this yes awesome okay. right so again for beginners don't get intimidated it's just habitual past tense only it's in dev nagari so for you look at the ending right all yours kavita तुम दो साल पहले कहाँ रहती थी? हम बॉम्बे में रहते थे। हम दादा दादी के साथ रहते थे। अब हम नाना नानी के साथ रहते थे। रहते हैं। मैं और मेरे भाई बॉम्बे में स्कूल में पढ़ते थे। अब मेरी भाई ऑस्ट्रेलिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया में ऑस्ट्रेलिया में कॉलेज में पढ़ते हैं और हम दिल्ली में रहते हैं तुम पहले इला इलाहाबाद 
me rehetete na. Ha, mabap or behen abhi bhi ilahabat me rehete hai. Lekin ab me or mera bhai dili me mama ji ke saath rehete hai. Meri pehen kabhi kabhi dili aati hai. Tum chanti ho na? Tum chanti ho na? Ki mera bhai aare? It's funny. IT. Okay. IT me kam karta hai. Information technology. Haan, aur tumare dada dadi kaha rehete hai? Be ilahabad me rehete hai. Ma aur ma aur bita ji ke saath aur nana nani बनारस में रहते हैं पहले वे इलाहाबाद में रहते थे ब्यूटीफुल वंडरफुल आई वांट फ्यू मोर पीपल टू ट्राई हु वुड लाइक टू ट्राई रेज योर हैंड हु इज कंफर्टेबल एंड द इशू इज आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू सी सो आई एम गोना स्टॉप शेयरिंग इट एंड आई एम गोना सी हु इज रेजिंग ओके अनेस्का जी एंड वन मोर पर्सन अनेस्का जी एंड अनीता जी ओके Aneska ji, you are Deepak, and uh, Anita ji, you are um, the other uh, person that we have here, Kavita. Okay, so give me one minute. I'm gonna share my screen, and after that, we'll do one more. Read it slowly and louder. So, okay, all right, all yours, guys. Yeah, I'm Deepak, right? Okay. Yes. Kavita, tum do saal pehle kaha rehte? I'll be reading from my book. It's easier. Ham Bombay me rehete te. Ham dada dadi ke saat rehete te. Ab ham nana nani ke saat rehete he. Me or mere bhai Bombay me school me. पढ़ते थे अब मेरे भाई इल ऑस्ट्रेलिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया में कॉलेज में पढ़ते हैं और हम दिल्ली में रहते हैं तुम पहले इलाहाबाद में रहते थे ना हाँ माँ माँ बाप और बहन अभी अभी भी अभी भी इलाहाबाद में रहते हैं लेकिन आप मैं और मेरी बाय दिल्ली में मामा जी के साथ रहते हैं मेरे मेरी बहन कभी कभी दिल्ली आती हैं तुम जानती हो ना कि मेरी बाय आईआईटी में काम करता है हाँ और तुम्हारे दादा दादी कहाँ रहते हैं वे इलाहाबाद में रहते हैं माँ और पिताजी के साथ और नाना नानी बनारस में रहते हैं पहले वे इलाहाबाद में रहते थे मे बी वी कैन डू वन मोर एंड देन विल ट्राई टू एटलीस्ट फ्रॉम बिगिनर्स यू नो विल ट्राई टू सी एट लीस्ट वॉट द रिकोगनाइज ओके सो वन मोर लेट सी हु इज इंटरेस्टेड एनी वन हुट है चांस टू रीड इट 
but is at least can i try yeah please and uh, that's uh, himani ji or somebody else you need oh you need awesome hey, and uh, himani ji can you read devnagari yeah okay awesome so you are deepak and you need you are um, kavita okay give me one minute i'm going to share my screen and um, for everyone if you had it now if you're reading it third time basically you should start recognizing some verbs okay my ask after the like uni and himani ji finish this paragraph is like try to recognize like you know these patterns rehti thi okay rehte the rehte the right padhte the okay i gave you enough hint but uh, that's about you have to recognize you should be able to do that actually regardless of whether you know devanagari or not okay i uni and himani ji did you say i was yeah. deepa no <laughs> you are deepak or me kavita deepak is himani ji okay kavita tum 2 saal pehle kaha rehti thi hum bombay mein rehte the हम दादा दादी के साथ रहते थे अब हम नाना नानी के साथ रहते हैं मैं और मेरे भाई बॉम्बे में स्कूल में पढ़ते थे अब मेरे भाई ऑस्ट्रेलिया में कॉलेज में पढ़ते हैं और हम दिल्ली में रहते हैं तुम पहले इलाहाबाद इलाहाबाद में रहते थे ना हाँ माँ बाप और बहन अभी भी इलाहाबाद में रहते हैं लेकिन अब मैं और मेरा भाई दिल्ली में मामा जी के साथ रहते हैं मेरी बहन कभी कभी दिल्ली आती है तुम जानती हो ना कि मेरा भाई ए टी में काम करता है हाँ और तुम्हारे दादा दादी कहाँ रहते हैं वे इलाहाबाद में रहते हैं माँ और पिताजी के साथ और नाना नानी बनारस में रहते हैं पहले वे इलाहाबाद में रहते थे Awesome. Thank you so much. I know there's a lot of places in this paragraph. Some of you may not be familiar with those regions, um, but great job everyone reading it. I want to hear from somebody who's very new, and I know we have some folks who just joined very recently. <laughs> um, at least were you able to understand some of it? Let's see if you can unmute yourself, or you know I can ask some of you as well. But I want to hear directly. Um, at least if you were to able to catch some words allergy you want to take a chance i know it's your first class so i i hate to put you on spot but pata nahi ashu ji i am a little confused but i'm i'm learning <laughs> okay were you able to catch some words like rehte the let me help you here rehte the when they were reading it out of blank if you don't mind sharing it like were you able to what was your and what were the reading what were the some words you may have caught if at all i i mostly caught just like the me and like the i like the pronouns i think okay That's good what I was catching mm -hmm. okay awesome so what i'll do is um i'm going to share again and this time i'm going to just open it up for everyone to 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 translate it with me okay two characters here deepak and kavita The only thing is like um, um, Richard Delacy, he doesn't have it in Room Nagari, so you just have to listen pretty closely. Okay, um, so Deepak is saying Kavita, which is the name of the other person. Tum two years pehle kaha rehti thi. Okay, Delia ji, what does it mean? He's asking Kavita um, where she lived two years before. Where she used to live two used years. To live. Yeah, used to live. कहाँ रहती थी? रहना is a verb to stay or to live and रहती थी. Okay, next one. Um, Jackie ji, you want to read it and translate it? Uh, हम बॉम्बे uh, में रहते थे. The verb again here, रहना. Okay, हम रहते थे. We used to live. Okay, and the place is here is 
Bombay mein, which is nothing but Bombay. Okay, we used to live in Bombay. Okay, keep on reading, Jackie ji. Um, hum dada dadi ke saath rehte the. Dada dadi is? Grandparents. Okay, and what does it mean? Hum dada dadi ke saath rehte the. We lived with our grandparents. We used to live with our grandparents. Yes, we used to live with our grandparents. Okay, keep on reading. Ab hum nana nani ke saath rehte hai. Okay. Um, now we live with our other grandparents. <laughs> yeah, with maternal grandparents. Okay. So, so earlier it used to be rehti thi, rehte the, rehte the. All of a sudden, rehte hai. Like earlier we used to live with our paternal grandparents, but now we live with our grandparents on the mother's side. Okay. Awesome. Um, who else? Who hasn't had a chance? Uh, Barbara ji, you can read Devanagari. Yes. I say uh, I. Little I bit? try a little okay, bit. Try. Little bit. Yeah, let's yes. try this one. Yes. Uh, me or uh, mere bai, uh, mere bai Bombay me school uh, me uh, partete. Okay. Awesome. Uh, ab mere bai uh, Australia me. Uh, College. Uh, college me parte hai. Okay, what does or, it mean? No, it's okay. You can translate it now. Me or uh, mere. Uh, me or mere bai. Uh, me, I and uh, my brother. Mm -hmm. uh, me, stu, um, are studying in uh, Bombay school. Okay, awesome. Okay. Um, oh, uh, ab now, uh, mere bai, uh, my brother, uh, Australia me, uh, 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 college me, college me, uh, studies in uh, college uh, in Australia. Awesome, amazing, awesome. Or am uh, daily me rete he, and. Uh, uh, and uh, we are uh, we are living in uh, Delhi. Okay, awesome. Uh, tum uh, pele um, Islam uh, Islamabad me reti te na mm -hmm. uh, uh, you um, uh, you are uh, uh, you are. Uh, you don't uh, uh, live in Islamabad. Oh, so I'm gonna help here. So uh, even though it's Tum, which is the informal. Uh, uh, you, you mm -hmm. don't uh, uh, live, you don't, uh, you didn't live in uh, Islamabad. Okay, so this na is not a negative. Uh, this, this negative, is... you don't, you didn't live. No, no, so. The sentence is really, you used to live in Allahabad, right? So, you ah, know, okay, okay. this is not negative. This is like a confirmation, right? Okay, okay. Right? Yeah, right. So, right. so that's what they're trying to say. Right? You used to live in Allahabad, right? Right. right. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what it is. So it's not a negative sentence, but rather a confirmation mm -hmm. a question from the other person. Right. Okay. Awesome. Astuji, Astuji, would Pele there be before? That's right. You, earlier. You used to live in Islamabad before, right? Earlier, earlier. Yes, that's right. Yep. Before. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why don't you continue, JDG? This one. Thank you so much, Barbara. You did pretty good uh, there. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. JDG. Astuji, can I ask a question about a, a, the sentence above there where she started, where it says, Mire by Bombay May, mm -hmm. right? The Mire by, that's brother, right? By. Mm -hmm. Look at the last letter of that word is pronounced as a hard E, right? Which one? By? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then in Bombay, it's the same letter, the last letter, and it's pronounced as an A. So it's Bai or Bombay? Oh, Bombay. 
Bombay. So, so in English you say Bombay. In Hindi it's Bombay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got. It. I got. It. Yeah. It's, yeah. Awesome. Right. Oh. So we'll take a couple of minutes extra. You want to read this one, um, JDG? Han. 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 Um. Ma. Bap. Or. Bahen. Abi. B. Islamabad may rate hain laken up may or uh, miri by Delhi may mama g k sat rate hain. You want to translate it? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, father, mother, and father and sister. Uh, now, uh, B, B, now, even now, Islamabad, pardon, even now, a uh, B, even now, oh, even now, Islamabad live in uh, Islamabad, but Ilahabad, that's an area in Uttar Pradesh, uh, Ilahabad, okay, Islamabad. So, uh, but now I and my brother. Uh, in Delhi, um, Mama G uh, with oh we live with our mother in Delhi. Mother's uncle, mother's brother, Mama G. Mama G is the oh uncle. Mama G oh uncle Mama. uncle awesome awesome. All right, anybody else? Last chance. I know uh, Sharmila G. You want to wrap it up, and then Mimi after that. Awesome. So, Kavita. This Kavita? one. You, yes. So, ha, or tumhare dara dari kaha rehte hai. So, yes, where do your um, paternal grand, grandparents live? Kaha, okay. where do they live? Okay, awesome. Mimiji, you want to wrap it up? The last one? Wo Allahabad me rahate hai. Me or pita. Ma or Pita, G K Sat. Mm -hmm. um, mother and father live in Allahabad. Or Nana Nani, maternal mother and maternal grandparents, Banaras Me Rahatehe, live in uh, Banaras. Pahale Wo, oh. Allahabad Me Rahatehe, Rahate Ta. What did you say for this one, uh, Mimi ji? Pe Ilahabad mein rehte hain, ma aur pita ji ke saath. What? How did you translate this one? Uh, wo is there? Oh, mm -hmm. Where is there? Ilahabad me in Ilahabad mm -hmm. rahate hai live mother and father ke saath. You say. Uh, my. Oh, it doesn't say my though. Okay. So the the, the sentence is uh, I'll help you out. Where Ilahabad me rehte hai ma aur pita ji ke saath. So the question could be who lives in Ilahabad with mother and father. Okay. That if the question is that you have to refer to the previous sentence, which is ha aur tumare dada dadi kaha rehte hai. And your your grandparents, where do they live? Yes. So where do they live? In Allahabad. Yes, that's right. So the question was before, Tumare Dada Radi Kaha Rete hai? You know, um, and the, this is the answer. Deepak is saying they Ilahabad me rete. They live in Ilahabad with my mom and dad. Mata or Pita. Oh. Right? It's not like the Mata okay. or Pita who live in Allah. They live in Allahabad for sure, but the they, they live in Allahabad. That's right. That's right. Awesome. With my mother and father. That's right. And then after that, this one was straightforward, which you already did. Or Nana Nani Banaras me rehte hai. Pehle ve Ilahabad me rehte the. Awesome. I know this was hard, but uh, as I said, like you're trying to do it a parallel track, so it's both like like we have people from all like you know uh, area of expertise. Some are beginners. Some are like you know intermediate plus, so we want to challenge everyone and push everyone. So the ask really is for beginners to make simple sentences. If you can write 
a short like just five sentences about things that you used to do as a child okay and send it in the whatsapp group that'll be great i'll review it and for advanced people i really want you to have like at least write in dev nagari and have this if you meet in practice group have one particular session where you talk to each other about your the six or seven categories that i put together your family traditions the hobbies your school activities social activities uh, anything, any routine that you can share with your, you know, colleagues, because that will strengthen you. It will give you a lot of confidence. Okay, so I'm going to stop the broadcast, um, and um, we'll take.